Hi there, I'm Dr. Rohan Panchamia. I am an attending anesthesiologist in the Department of Anesthesiology at Weill Cornell Medicine. And today we are going to review uh, the entry catheter through suprabiotic airway um, intubation. So in front of us, we have a trauma patient uh, who has a suspected cervical spine injury and for that reason has a C collar in place. Unfortunately, this patient's um, neurological exam deteriorated and the patient uh, needed uh, to be uh, intubated. Um, after a few attempts at intubation, um, a rescue airway um, in the form of a supraglottic airway, in this case the IGEL, um, was placed um, to ensure oxygenation ventilation um, however, we know that the supraglottic airway is not a protected airway. So for that reason, we will need to exchange this eye gel out for um, an endotracheal tube. So let me walk you through it. First, I'm going to demonstrate to you that we are able to ventilate the patient through the supraglottic airway. We're going to confirm that the supraglottic airway is in... Um, the appropriate um, location. It's in a good position with the distal tip of the spoke airway sitting in the proximal esophagus. So we can do that by um, inserting a fiber optic bronchoscope to see where our spoke airway, how the spoke airway is positioned in the uh, upper airway. So we insert our bronchoscope, traverse through the supraglottic airway, and as you can see here, the tip of the supraglottic airway is sitting at the level of the um, larynx. So what we're going to do is just advance the supraglottic airway kind of deeper, and now the uh, inlet is aligned with the, um, the glottic orifice, okay? So we're in a good position. So let's go ahead and insert the entry catheter. Um, so this can be done while oxygen and ventilating um, the patient at the same time. Um, what's nice about um, the entry catheter is that uh, it uh, comes with a swivel adapter that you can connect to uh, a circuit, connect to an AMBU bag, and um, you know, perform um, uh, insertion of the entry catheter while oxygen ventilating um, the patient simultaneously. Okay. So I'm going to keep the, the swivel adapter on, and we'll load the entry catheter onto our fiber optic bronchoscope. So this is going to be a um, a, this is going to be a um, um, a procedure that's um, uh, with com with uh, to, um, visualization throughout versus blind versus um, a blind procedure. So um, let's go ahead and insert the entry. So we're going through the cerebrospinal airway here, right? And I want to make sure that our bronchoscope shaft is completely straight. So whatever I do up top at the controller is translated below at the tip. Okay, you can see um, the epiglottis. And we see the vocal cords, um, the glottic orifice. And I'm going to navigate the bronchoscope subglottic. Okay, and I'm going to be, make sure that the entry catheter kind of follows the bronchoscope as one unit advance further until I'm just right above the carina in our patient. And you can see here we're at the carina. So at this point, we're going to deploy the entry catheter okay, under direct visualization. I can see it's positioned right above the carina, confirmed with the, bron with the bronchoscope. And pull this out, our fiber optic bronchoscope, and save it for later. So the next step is 
to remove the superglottic airway over the entry catheter. The entry catheter kind of serves as a placeholder for us. Once the um, superglottic airway is out of the airway, so let's remove the swivel adapter and then the superglottic airway over the entry catheter. And this can be done by um, counter advancing the entry catheter just a few centimeters, um, probably no more than 26 centimeters at the lip to, to um, ensure that the entry catheter doesn't migrate out of the airway while the superglottic airway is being uh, removed. And I'm gonna use my, my right um, index finger to tack the, um, sh the entry catheter so that it's, it's another step to um, make sure the entry catheter doesn't move while the superglottic airway is um, coming out. Okay. Superglottic airway is out. We can confirm that we're still in the airway with the entry catheter by um, inserting our fiber bronchoscope uh, within the lumen of the entry. And as you can see here, we are probably a little deep. So we're gonna pull back and we see carina right there. Great, so we're in a great location for um, the next step, which is uh, inserting the endotracheal tube over the entry catheter, Seldringer technique. Okay, so first I'm gonna preload this, preload our endotracheal tube over the entry catheter. See here. And wanna make sure that we don't, that we have control of the entry catheter um, at all times. So we're gonna kind of pull back, retract, and grip it up top, okay? And we're gonna advance our, um, endotracheal tube over the entry catheter um, further uh, to the upper airway. And at this point, it's probably at the level of the hypopharynx. And now we can um, Selzringer the tube over the entry catheter into the trachea under direct visualization using a bronchoscope. So we're gonna go down the entry catheter, the bronchoscope, make sure we're still in the airway. And as you can see, we are. And at this point, can uh, either you or an assistant can advance the endotracheal tube over the entry. And there we go. See the endotracheal tube is now past the entry catheter above the level of the corona. Can pull the entry out. Bronchoscope out. inflate the cuff and connect to the BVM and give a few breaths and success.